Hey guys, Rick at Healing Field Farm. It is pouring out today, so we are working in the greenhouse. As you can see, the wind did shift it, um, like I talked about. And when I first built this, I mentioned how the top pieces, they don't screw together, which doesn't make it stable. So I had taped the seams, and you can see the tape just ripped right out, right in here. So um, it didn't bend, it just, it shifted. And so we're gonna try to fix that this morning. Um, we're gonna get some stakes in on these four by four posts. And then we're gonna build a quick uh, table for in here to get plants started on. Um, I was gonna build two, but I only had enough scrap lumber left over from the um, coop in the chicken run to get one done today. And the mills closed down because it's raining. They don't cut wood in the rain. So, um, and we did, I did get up the chicken run. Uh, got it framed up and I got it tacked in together for the moment because I ran out of screws and we'll get back on that project tomorrow. got the posts in I couldn't get one in here there is a very large rock underneath there somewhere I like three feet I hit it every spot so um, I may have to do something different there but overall I mean we got five stakes in it I don't feel like it's gonna go too far now and then uh, hopefully it doesn't work against me and now that it's staked down and the base isn't going to move, hopefully that's not going to force the pipes to bend. So time will tell, I guess. I'm going to retape these seams and have like an all-purpose tape. My son uh, has lost my duct tape somewhere. So this is just what we're going to use on the seams. And hopefully with the extra bra bracing, it's going to hold together this time. Time will tell. All right, so I'm going to start the table. I had already pre-cut everything uh, because it's raining and I can't get power all the way down to the greenhouse from the house. So I cut everything up there, brought it down with the truck. Uh, table's going to be two foot by five foot. And then I'm going to put hardware cloth over it and be three feet high. And then... We will build a second one, um, maybe even more. It just kind of depends how it fills up the space once it uh, once I start building them.
Okay, so I got the table done. Uh, my camera died, uh, battery. So I just finished it while it was charging up real quick. Um, I just used two foot hardware cloth for the top. And it's mostly made out of scraps from the uh, chicken run and chicken coop. So it didn't really cost much other than the wire. And I have enough wire to build one more table. And I think I will I'll fit two five foot tables in here and then we'll get some pro mix in here and uh, hopefully probably next week we'll start get some seeds started may start them in the house and then move them out here in a couple weeks but uh, and then hopefully the new modifications will help and hold this together um, it, it hasn't been so and that was my biggest concern I mean I can brace this thing all day long so hopefully it, it will hold and it won't come apart again and then tomorrow we'll finish off the chicken run uh, like I said before it is all framed up and I just got it kind of gently screwed together and then uh, I'll get that all screwed up and we'll get the chicken netting on there and we'll get a door built and we have not put the chickens out yet uh, we did have a little emergency with our dog Clover, uh, the shepherd. Our son had drained the uh, water tank in his camper and it had antifreeze in it. And he drained it into a bucket and didn't put a lid on it. So fortunately, um, it, it was diluted because he had put water in it. So she started throwing up a little bit and Sarah ran her down to the vets and they they gave her a clean bill of health. They did say just keep an eye on her, but she seems to be doing fine. So no worries, just a little scary moment. But because she had to run to the vet and everything, we didn't get the chickens in. And today it's raining, so we'll probably hold off till tomorrow. I did put a rubber mat in there because I don't want the cooler air coming up through the floor yet. And we put some shavings in there and we'll get the heat lamp in there. So they'll be fine and they'll be good. But I'll, I really do want to just get the chicken run complete before I move them in and we should do that tomorrow. So it is still raining so I'm going to go in get some lunch get this edited for you guys. This is day 20 of our 100 day homestead challenge and we got the table going in the greenhouse so we'll get another one built hopefully uh, by the end of the weekend and we'll start u utilizing this here shortly. So. Other than that, guys, I'm going to, uh, like I said, go in, eat some lunch, get this edited for you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you, everyone who subscribed. And, and we really hope that you guys are getting stuff out of this and that this is enjoyable for you. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, you know, continue to follow us and wa watch us grow. You know, we're, we're doing this from scratch and trying to get this all built up. And as much as see how much we can get done in these hundred days so thanks again for watching have a good day guys see you tomorrow